Hi everyone, this is Blast Pop. Today we have GMT's 2001 game, A Clash of Giants, which includes two games from Ted Racer. The first is Campaigns of Tannenberg and the Marne, both in 1914. Tannenberg was a battle between the German and Russian empires in Prussia and Western Russia, Poland areas. And the Marne was one of those desperate defenses by the Allies to stop the German advance on Paris. Anyway, this is a two-game set. It uses a fairly simple combat system. It's fairly straightforward. I played this years ago and really enjoyed it. And I ended up selling it to somebody. And only recently... Uh, did I acquire a new copy on the War Game Pay It Forward uh, Facebook page? And so I happily scooped this back up, and it's probably now going to be something I probably won't part with from my collection. Um, so what I did receive, though, was an unpunched copy, so it kind of looks in great shape and would be representative if you were to have gotten this game back in 2001. Uh, it was quite popular in our working group for a while, and um, got a lot of gameplay. So anyway, uh, this game is an unpunched copy. I looked through it, so everything's there. But this will give you a sense of what was included back then, and if you're interested, um, whether or not this may fit your needs. Anyway, again, this is designed by Ted Racer, an elegant design. In fact, they just used a... Uh, the system for the new Gettysburg game that he had come out with just uh, within the last couple few months. Anyway, you have uh, campaigns of Tannenberg and Marne. The rules are rather thin. There's not a lot of complexity in this game whatsoever. This, it's rather sparse and weighs in at, I think, eight pages of rules. So there's it's a game you can pick up in a, you know, 15, 20 minutes if you're an experienced uh, war gamer. Uh, beyond the proverbial baggies and dice, good quality dice actually. Uh, let's see the specific rules are included. Includes your setup. First one's Tannenberg. I always prefer this one of the of the two. It uh, always a nail biter. And then it's got specific sequence of play for the battles because they do differ a little bit um, between the two games with the supply rules, command and such. And then you have likewise one for the Marne. So, again, games that you can quickly set up and, and play. More so with the uh, Tannenberg game. Simple charts, terrain effects charts, combat resolution. Based on the um, odds as a die roll modifier to your opponent's die roll. And I believe, if I remember right, it's a, a comparison to uh, achieve a result. And one-sided, as a matter of fact. So, pretty basic stuff. One and a half sheets of counters. And the blue are the French from the Marne. Uh, tan for the British, BEF forces. And there's a slight different hue and tint on the Germans between the two games, so it's relatively easy to pick out the differences between the games for a set of purposes. And then, on the reduced sides, counters are the white core. They're thick enough. A lot of people like the new, well, going back to the old cardboard core, the gray core, because they're thicker, but I don't know, the aesthetics of the foam core, well, actually not really foam core, white core, to me looks a lot nicer and neater on the battlefield. 
but that's just me they'll be clipped at some point and so they'll even look even nicer from my from my opinion and again markers one and a half sheets first map here is of the Marne nicely done maps nothing fancy but very functional and should serve well printed on just one side not double sided which is nice so that by flipping the map over you don't manage to stain the other one if the table you're playing on isn't as clean as you would like at somebody's house or at a game club gamers are notoriously messy sometimes and then finally we got I think the the great game in the package Tannenberg and this one is I think got great gameplay and it's got a great onslaught of the Russians versus the Germans defending and then the Germans come back so it gives both sides an opportunity to attack and counterattack. Uh, I think the more skilled player needs to be the German if I recall correctly. And here's some sections of the game map of Tannenberg. Very nice. I think even the map is a little nicer of the two. Konigsberg. Unfortunately, as I got my setup right now, I can't really spread this out anymore. But very nice indeed. And a feedback card and a uh, card to denote that they want you to become a great fan of GMT games. All in all, a very nice package. And also, while I have it here, the back of the box. Just to give you a sense of what that looks like as well. And a little additional information. You can pause this if there's anything you'd like to read. Very well done. So, this has been Clash of Giants by GMT and Ted Racer. This is Blast Pop. Hope you enjoyed this. And have a great day. Bye.